The battle over books tonight, parents gathered at Elk Grove School Board meeting to voice their concerns and opinions about certain books. The dispute lasting the entire school year, but culminated down to tonight for the board's last meeting before summer break. Let's get more on this. CBS 13's Brady Halbleib is live outside of the district office with, I'm guessing, was a heated debate, Brady. Yeah, guys, it really, really comes down to two groups of parents who um, feel differently about what is appropriate for the classroom and for students. Some say that these books should absolutely be in school libraries, while others say they go too far. I trust you to pursue equity. Thank you. A packed final school board meeting Tuesday night. Every one of us loves our children. With parents who care deeply for their children, but stand divided on the books that they have access to. Books can open up our eyes to what it means to be human and how we can be human. On one half of the room, parents wearing rainbows in support of the LGBTQ plus books and stories in school libraries. I think it's representation and inclusion is important. The other half, parents wearing yellow, some adorned with American flags who say certain topics like sexual orientation, gender identity, and drawings of naked bodies should stay out of school. Why expose these children to that? They are our future. That is my concern as a parent. The group bolstering support for LGBTQ plus books claim parents on the other side are a part of Moms for Liberty, a national conservative organization responsible for banning books from districts from across the country. However, they say that's not true, but they do want censorship on certain books. I believe there has to be some um, guardrails. Parents like Emily Ottenreath believe it to be a targeted attack against the LGBTQ plus community. If people intentionally misleading school boards and community members to suggest that librarians and teachers are creating dangerous circumstances where they absolutely are not. Fernando Cisneros, a parent and former Elk Grove student, says more needs to be done to protect children. But I just want the kids to be educated, leave the sexuality out. They'll learn it eventually and leave it up to the parents. Meanwhile, others feel protecting them means including them. And students need to see themselves represented in the school. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to check out books that represent who they are. And as I mentioned, uh, this was the last school board meeting of the year. This was meant to serve as a public comment period. No books were actually uh, dis discussed in uh, tonight's meeting, guys.